Hi, and and welcome to to uh, Joey's Garage Show. Now, I'm a person who knows very little uh, about car car uh, maintenance. So, if, so if you're like me, this this is the uh, show to watch because because we're gonna be learning together. Fuse. Uh, locate your uh, your your fuel filter, which in here it's gonna be right here. Um, I don't know if if you can notice, but like mine is very lubed up because this was like really really tight. It was really tough to tough to uh, get off. So, so if you need some lube, I will suggest this by AutoZone works pretty good works pretty good um, so it took me a long while to, to like loosen it so basically what you're gonna do well this is for this vehicle this is a 17 inch and you just take off this top part here this is the first part of it well the first part of unscrewing this Okay, next, uh, as you can see, the top part's off now. I just set them to the side here, then the other parts down there. Um, we gotta get the uh, the uh, bottom one, which I don't know if you can really tell what this. You, you can kind of see it, but we're gonna use a 14 inch here for this one. Again, you know, the, the different vehicle could have a different size measure, and I'm not sure how difficult it's gonna be to take off. This top part was so I would not be surprised if that bottom one is but yeah you basically you know lefty loosey and it should come off right here at the bottom purposes in an engine's life. It saves it, it protects it, and it loves it. Remember everybody, change your fuel filter every four miles. Now he's having a hard time turning this thing, but he's got a lot of motivation behind him. He's got a lot of cat cheerleaders cheering him on, and he's going to do this thing. Take it away, Mike. Okay, so um, we just finally loosened it on here. Um, what we didn't show was was there's a side side uh, nut here that we had to loosen up first, and we got this. And as you can see, there's some fuel coming out. Okay, next thing is uh, this. This is a brand new filter here. It's clean. Now ours came <laughs> came with a uh, bunch of uh, washers or uh, O-ring rings. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're gonna need all of them, so we're just gonna put this sucker on now, and we're just gonna do it backwards, pretty much. Do it we will get with you, I So I guess we're gonna. Uh, put the put the bolt on first. <laughs>
I was, I was just put that bottom. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put put the uh, bottom part on first. Okay, there you go. Those are right here. Okay, uh, we didn't show you this earlier, but this is what we, this is us putting back on this little bracket or holder or brace device, whatever you want to call it. And trying to get it back, this little screw. <laughs> That's gonna be a toughie. This is my brother putting in the, uh, the bracket. I couldn't quite get it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is press on that clamp firmly and get a nice tight grip. Pretend it's like a big piece of sausage and you wanna get that sausage really tight. And you push hard on that sausage because you want that sausage to come through nicely. This is the second to uh, final step after we do this. There's one more step and we are set to go. We are ready to go. Wait a second. It's a bag of washers. <laughs> no! Right there. When I took it off, there there were two washers, so so I'm gonna use one of these because uh, this this is still still here, and they should not take that long. This takes two, really. Yeah, you gotta put the hose in. <laughs> and he is tightening the bolt. He's looking for the wrench. Oh wait, it is a 17. The drama. Is it a 17? No, it's a 19. It's an 18. It's a three quarters, man. Jack. Uh oh. The car is done for. <laughs> Hold on. I think I just turned it right. Okay, so so we made a small uh, mess up with the placement of the filter. We originally put it in, in, in incorrectly, and in this particular model, it's, it's supposed to be placed just with this little thing that you really can't see in this video. <laughs> but it's you supposed to be synced in here. Yeah, but the yeah. sitting, and that's why you write it up. But yeah, so uh, make sure whenever you ever re replace something, put it in it, it, exactly the same way you you found it. Hi. Hello. Okay. So, so it's finally on. So there's still one more step that that needs to be a be be done here. So something that that I didn't show is in the very beginning process go to your fuse box and and locate your uh, fuel pump. Alright. That says turn lights. Hold on here. Oh okay. <laughs> okay yeah that's good enough. Turn your car on Take out the fuse and and let your car car die. That that relieves the uh, fuel fuel pressure. Now 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 when ending, you do the exact same thing. Put it in 
You put it back into your the place. Man, yeah, we need a light. Okay, it's it's sounding a, a little bit better now. It sounds a lot better, man. Now the final thing is a uh, check check for leaks. I don't see uh, anything leaking. Now, what I like to do, I like to put particulars on here. All right, that's that's all for uh, today's episode. See you guys next time.